a story of Kosovo. Today I'm going to take you on a journey through one of Europe's newest countries and we will learn its tragic history. Kosovo is a landlocked country situated in the center of the Balkans who gained its independence from Serbia on 17 February 2008. We traveled to Prekas, a village situated in the Drenica region, about 25 kilometers from the capital Pristina. To get to Prekas from Pristina, the easiest way is to hire a taxi or to rent a car. The journey takes about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the traffic. In Prekas, we will visit the Jasari Cemetery, a very important site for Kosovan people. The Jasari family was a prominent Albanian family in Kosovo, known for the role in the Kosovan Liberation Army during the late 90s. They were at the forefront of the fight for Kosovo's independence from Serbia. In 1998, the Serbian government launched a major military operation against the Kosovo Liberation Army, targeting the Drenica region in particular. On March 5, 1998, Serbian forces surrounded the Jasari family compound here in Prekas and demanded that the family surrendered, but the family refused, standing up for Kosovo's freedom. The battle lasted for many hours, with the Jasari family fighting valiantly against a much larger and better equipped Serbian forces. In the end, over 60 members of the Jasari family, including women and children, were killed. The incident became known as the Prekaz massacre, and it was a turning point in the Kosovo war. The complex consists of several buildings, including a main house, a barn, and a mosque. The main house is a large two-story building that serves as the family living quarters. It has several rooms, including a kitchen, living room, and bedrooms. The family fortified the house during the war in order to protect themselves from Serbian attacks. The barn, which is adjacent to the main house, was used by the family to store their crops and animals. During the siege in 1998, the barn was also used as a defensive position by the family. The mosque, which is located next to the main house, was built by the family in the 80s. It's a small, simple building with a prayer room and a minaret. The mosque was heavily damaged during the siege in 1998. It was rebuilt after the war. The Jasari family complex is open to visitors as a museum and a memorial. It includes exhibits of the family's personal belongings, as well as photographs and videos documenting their resistance against the Serbian forces. The complex also includes a cemetery, where the members of the Jasari family who were killed in the siege are buried. The Jasari memorial is a very important site in Kosovo it represents the country's struggle for independence and the sacrifice made by its people for freedom and democracy. Today, we pay our respect to the Jasari family visiting the cemetery of the massacre. It is a sovereign experience, but also a reminder of the bravery and sacrifice that many Kosovans have made to gain their independence. And with this thought, we leave Prakas. I hope this video has inspired you to plan your own trip to this beautiful corner of Europe. Whether you are interested in history, culture, or just want to explore a new and exciting destination, Kosovo is the perfect place to visit. Thank you and see you soon!